Let me check Eddie's schedule here, okay? Okay, he's booked for the morning show at 6. He's back to the hotel for print interviews and a photo shoot at 9. And then he's got lunch with the college newspaper people. Okay, look. He'll have about a half an hour after that before he has to be at the radio station at 1.30. So why don't you just go ahead and set up the interview with, um... What's the name of the magazine again? It's all around Schenectady. Don't you worry about Eddie. I'm telling you, he's a dynamo. He can handle just about anything. Well, if anything else comes up, then, uh... Yeah, I can see another 15 minutes between the autograph session at the record store and soundcheck at the concert. If anybody's really desperate, there's always after the concert. Okay. Fred, you are a doll. I'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Okay. So, uh, what if Ned has to go to the bathroom or something? You were here when he said he could handle anything we threw at him, so... We'll just see how cocky he is after Schenectady. Well, listen, the point is to promote him, not break him down. If he can't take the heat, then I'd like to find out now. I don't want to put any more time and money into the idle rich if he's just using it as an excuse to hang around here. Besides, you want to show him who's boss, right? Damn straight. First he tries to buy us a record studio, then he tries to buy out our partner, huh? What's next? I guess he could just by MTV or Billboard, it all comes down to control with Ashton. Not the only one. What was that? Nothing. Ooh. Afternoon, ladies. Hi. Hi. What do you want? Hey, me? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. So unfair. There he is with that new little baby. Not to mention that great kid of his, Lucky. Do you remember when we were celebrating at the Outback right after Leslie Lou was born? You know, we were giving him grief about how much trouble she was going to be when she started dating. And now it doesn't even look like he's going to be around to celebrate her first birthday. Well, Laura's sure he's still alive. Well, what else can she think? When you love somebody with your whole heart and soul, you can't imagine life without them, and then all of a sudden your world gets turned upside down. Thanks. You know, I've been thinking about Ashton's offer to buy me out. Creep. Well, if that makes him a creep, then I'm a creep, too. Because if I were in his shoes, I'd, I'd do the same. Yeah, well, you were pretty ticked off when you told me about it. Yeah, well, that was then, this is now, you know. I shouldn't have mopped off you like I did. Will you start keeping things like that from your partners? Then our whole deal is off. I mean, are, are you actually trying to defend the guy? No, no, no. If he can't fight his own battles, that means he's not worthy of you. But it doesn't mean I don't have my own opinion. Which is? Considering what he's put himself and the rest of us through, just to get your attention, he deserves a break. He can't buy his way back into my life or this company. Well, I might add he's already a big part of this company, as Eddie Maine. Fine. Eddie Maine, I'll promote. Ashton can sit on attack. In other words, you're not going to forgive him until you think you're even, right? Corinthos, do you want me to hand your head to you, or do you want it all over splattered against that wall, huh? Which is it going to be? Okay, let's just go into the studio and listen to Miguel's concert. No, not right now. Explain yourself. You want to humiliate Ashton the way he humiliated you. See, I have this... this mental image of Bernie Corelli up to his eyeballs in frogs. Oh, Bernie who? for crying out loud, I was eight years old. He stuck a frog down her back in the lunchroom. She tore off her whole uniform trying to get it out, and everybody at St. Rita saw it. You laughed along with everybody. Bernie figured you as a good sport, but me? I saw that look in your eye. I knew it was just a matter of time. She stuck a jar of tadpoles in his locker one Friday, come Monday morning, Bernie opens his locker, and about a hundred frogs jump out on him, right? The nuns made him gather up the frogs with a net, right? The, the, for, for, for months, the kids called him Frog Man. There was even a, a picture of him in a yearbook with frogs all over it. Funny thing, though, <clears throat> you and Bernie became good friends. So the way I see it, you and Ashton are going to have problems until you figure you've 
even the score. And what is your point? That she should put frogs in his briefcase? The punishment has to fit the crime. Ashton lied. But even more importantly, he cheated on you. He had something going with that blonde barracuda, even though he basically couldn't stand her. And deep down inside, that's something you haven't forgiven yet. So, do what you have to do. Come up with something that's going to satisfy you. Cheat on the bum if you have to, but get over with it before it messes up with your head and our business. You know, that's the most adolescent idea I've ever heard in my life. Well, adolescent would be an improvement with these two-year-old soaks and tantrums. I don't need this, Corinthos. I am You not, need it. I am not a kid. I am a grown woman, and I have a right to my feelings. How can you compare what Ashton did to me to, 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 to frogs? Some friends you are. I am hurting, damn it. Why don't you just go? Get out of here, all right? Just go away, man. Now we're getting somewhere. Go ahead. Let off steam. Then you get real soon. Sort of Sonny, I left uh, uh, a message on your answering machine this afternoon, and I mean, I didn't know you were going to be here. Just paying the bills. What's up? Hmm. I am not really satisfied with the explanation you had for whatever happened in Puerto Rico. Excuse me? Well, it's just that I've been forced to play this league before signing in, and, uh, and I got out, Lily got out, and I don't want to wake up one day and realize that we're back where we started. And that Lois and Brenda have been sucked into. Do I have to remind you who got you and Lily out from under Rivera and company in the first place? Yeah, I know. And who limited the consequences of what went down in Puerto Rico? I know, I know, I know how it goes, honey. And how it goes, you won't get something from those people unless you give them something back. What did you give them, L&B? Maybe Lydia and I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Just, you have a oh. hell of a lot of nerve. The, yes, enough to walk out on you if I, if I smell any trouble. Do you seriously think I'd bring trouble on those two women in there? They're not just my partners. One is my friend, the other is my woman. Now, as far as you and Lily, she has my respect and my protection. I gave her my word. Now, if you knew me better, you would understand what that is worth. As far as you, you are money in the bank mm. to me. And I take money very, very seriously. Yeah, and there's big money to be made, huh? Especially when people are willing to bend the rules. I'm offended. I'm sorry, man. I just needed to know, you know, what's happening, what's, what's going on. Oh, well, 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 if you still feel this way after all I've done, maybe, maybe we should rethink our deal. I mean, you see your misunderstandings, uh -huh. right? The whole point, I guess. I have no complaints with LMB, and doing business with you, I've always been great. I've always been perfect, Sonny. But, but what, you were, you were doing checks here, yeah, doing bills? Yeah. Well, that's, that's all I want to know. How much are you going to pay Rivera? What was the cost? I mean, I have the right to know, don't I? I mean, we're all going to pay for this. All right, I'm going to say this once, so listen carefully. What happened in Puerto Rico will have no effect on you, Lily, or Lois, or Brenda. I made sure of that. Do you understand? You know what? I think we're gonna need more of those but things that were... Who were those I know, that were in there and they already got going them. to... What's going on? You understand? Understand what? Ask me go. Uh, what to understand, Miguel? Nothing. I just had some questions about Puerto Rico. Just some unpaid bills. What bills? So he's taking care of it. Well, that's our money, man. He never complains. Why should I when my investments are already paying dividends? And Puerto Rico was just the beginning. I mean, let's not rest on our laurels hmm. here. That is absolutely right. Miguel is going to be an international star, so let's just decide where we're going to go next. Rio, Japan, Russia. Hawaii. Where? Hawaii. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Oh, it's just the beginning, you guys. LMB is on its way. And no matter how successful we become, we stay one big happy family, right? Right. Right. <laughs> you brought your appetite. You are in for a big surprise. Woo! Not only is Sunny a good cook, he's a gourmet chef. Oh, yeah? You walk <laughs> on water, too? Only when I'm uh, trying to make my point. What's up, Lois? I thought this was supposed to be a celebration. 
And I thought this was supposed to be a business meeting. Okay, if you want to get technical about it, this is uh, a business meeting. We're celebrating. That's right. <laughs> And we deserve it, because despite the unfortunate events in Puerto Rico, we did put on an amazing concert, didn't we? Yeah. And I have made a meal the likes of which you have not experienced since you set foot in this town. I guarantee it. So lighten up, Bensonhurst. Know when you're sitting on top of the world and savor the moment. So what is it with this company? We have to hire somebody just to keep the principles from bottoming out? Well, let's call up Tristic Tepperman. Mm -mm. I think it's called a pain in my butt. Look, Lois, as I told Miguel, everything is under control. I believe you. And what's with the face? Oh, now I remember. How could I forget, even for a moment? 